In Washington, the national spotlight is on Senator Lyndon Johnson's preparedness subcommittee and Rear Admiral Hyman G. Rickover, latest to testify in the investigation of the missiles and satellite programs. The session is secret, but it is revealed that Rickover, the father of the atomic submarine, testifies he fears it is almost too late to match Russia's super weapons. Later, Senators Saltonstall and Johnson pose with another witness, Lieutenant General Gavin, Army Research Chief, who has announced his decision to retire. He has criticized missiles policies and the Defense Command setup. Senator Johnson states the committee is also calling Nelson Rockefeller to testify on the Rockefeller Report calling for military reorganization and greater spending. The document was prepared under the direction of Dr. Henry A. Kissinger of Harvard University's Center for International Studies. News of the day questions him on a headline-making report of another Russian space venture. Dr. Kissinger, having finished the Rockefeller Report, we have just learned, too, that the Russians have sent a man 186 miles into the sky and returned him. Would you care to comment on that? It seems to me that this supports the conclusions of the Rockefeller report. It indicates that probably the Russians are considerably ahead of us in the missile field because it shows that they have rocket engines which have a thrust far greater than any that we possess at the moment. 